Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Another video today about Caden Live video editor and something interesting you can do with it, which is uh, really quite a lot of things. Now, I don't know if there's an actual name for this. I'm going to call it a virtual close-ups or something because this isn't really a close-up that you shoot with a camcorder. It's uh, a close-up you're sort of artificially achieving in post-production uh, using Caden Live. So this again, uh, to make a lot of use out of this uh, video I shot on Friday showing a few things on Caden Live, this is the interview uh, that I put out on my YouTube channel on Friday with this lady Noga. And as you can see, the whole video is shot uh, on one camera angle, which can be quite boring if it's, you know, a 30 minute clip. So here's something you can do. Now, you can tell me this looks rubbish, um, but I'm going to show how, how, to, uh, how to do this. So let's say that I want to cut in here to the clip. I'm just going to get rid of this part. I'm going to do a little bit of a fade in and uh, you can see the clip starts with me introducing uh, Noga, right? And then it's going to go to her speaking at some point. I can actually see from the waveforms because our waveforms are a little bit different. So let's say she's going to start speaking and then I want to kind of do a close up of her for about like 10 seconds. So I'm going to just chop off 10 seconds of my video. And what I'm going to do now is add a transform to this clip, insert an effect transform now this is only available to me through this context menu because transform is one of my favorite effects in Caden live because i use it absolutely all the time um if that if you don't have it as one of your favorite effects you can just go into the effect menu and then go into search for transform and the one you want is just the basic transform effect it's under it's grouped under transform distort and perspective so what i'm going to do here is just increase the size now, this obviously looks a lot better depending on how good the resolution is, right? So ideally, if you want to be attempting something like this, you'd be better off shooting in the highest resolution that your camcorder can support. But what we're going to do here, now it is key frameable. You can also simulate a quick zoom. The way you do that is by starting, uh, you know, with the frame as it is. But let me just show you how this is going to look in the video. Impact investing, if we look at it in the broad way, if we include ESG investments in it, it's in the beginning stage. Now you might say that, okay, well, she says in the beginning stage, that's a logical time to uh, to get out of this. In which case I could just break up the clip again. And what I'm going to do is delete the transform effect here. And now let's take a look at how that looks on my timeline. If we look at it in the broad way, if we include ESG investments in it, it's in the beginning stage. Um, and then we're going to jump back straight to this. Now we can of course do the same thing. Um, I can, you know, if I want to do for a few seconds, go into me, what I can do here is add a transform effect onto this part of the video. I'm going to do a bit of zoom and maybe not come up so tight. I'm just going to kind of come up to about here. Now I'm not even color correcting this footage. You can see it's a bit too dark, but let's just see how this looks now. From uh, Europe, mm -hmm. uh, but we are moving. We are moving and I think we can divide the impact space into two fields. Um, I think if we and you get the idea I mean I could also have done it while I was nodding there that might have been a logical point and again if I say this is too long or too short I can simply uh, chop up that clip and delete the transform effect and I think we can divide the impact space into two fields and you can play um, around with this workflow until you found you know just kind of the right place to simulate your zoom again because we're digitally cutting into the frame uh, this is going to not look amazing um, unless you're shooting at a really, really good resolution. So if you did this on 4K video, this is only a 1080p clip, you're going to get better effects because you simply have more pixels to work with. So you can do more zooming in digitally before it's starting to look pixelated or noisy, etc. Hope that was useful. If you've shot something like an interview using one camera angle and you want to try to get a bit creative in your post-production and simulate some kind of close-up shots, uh, this is one way you can do that using Caden Live. And if you want to get more videos from me, do feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.